differently. Wangara plays very don't touch me, uh, very passive, very defensive. Kiro, also a pretty defensive player. Kiro does definitely, you saw him practicing on that Luigi. He's got great combos here. So he's, he's yes, gonna, he does. he's gonna be really good at getting good punishes on Wangara if, if he, he gets get the hit. But Wangara's right. so good at, uh, in so the neutral. So patient. And he is so slick. His movement and his tech skill are unbelievable. And the other thing to note, coming from the oh, Japanese big opening. version. Yeah, Not going to be able to get this. Yeah. No, and Kira died so. pretty far away from that. So he was forced to go with a forward uh, forward throw. So rest is weak in the Japanese version. So they're more practiced at doing combos. To, wow. And look at that rising up air. Wangara even DI'd away from a lot of those. But How many up airs was that? I thought he was going to go for a grab, but I guess... Mm, Kiro is a great DI. Great DI off stage, yeah, very smart. Definitely, wow, great DI into the stage, but he still dies. Well. Great awareness from Kiro during that whole combo. He does still die from it, but DIing off stage definitely knows the matchup. He knows if he gets clipped on stage by that, he's going to get hit by that yeah. off smash. And this is the matchup, Kiro and Wangara, that uh, Wangara did that. Offstage rest in the middle of Kiro's up B, I believe. That was during Genesis 3. Wow, great combos and awesome platform movement there from Longera. Just getting yeah, the. Yeah, continue those. Part of playing Puff is getting whichever jump you're on to barely land on whatever platform you're trying to. So you've seen Wangara put out like an aerial that's only out for a few frames, gets the hit, gets the Z cancel, and moves on to the next thing. It yes. really allows you to speed up a character that, you know, has a bit of lag on his areas. And that's such a good Great reactionary, yeah. yeah. He, he, he sees Kiro's gonna land, he doesn't try to turn around, get a throw, or do something that's not gonna kill. Up he smash. just makes the right decision and is like, all right, I'm in position, up smash. Knows that Kiro's an end lag there. Oh, this could be a side. Oh, great that DI. That upward DI. What? Oh! And he follows that DI, uses a reverse bear, Re and he hits him off the top, probably intentionally, so that he has time to recover from the rest. Well, so the reverse... Oh, no. Oh, Bit of a mistake almost, there from Juan Guerra. Yeah. Really just SEs. That up air wasn't necessary, because other than that, it was a, an amazing... Uh, Amazing job avoiding Kiro. I, I I still can't believe that that rest combo. He, he yeah, yeah. Okay. So he noticed. And look Kiro, at that. Kiro I mean, just got rested on that one. The the first time that uh, Wangara got the forward throw, Kiro di'd really high up. He's yes. not. And Wangara wasn't able to get that rest, but he was able to follow up that weak back air. That weak back air mixed up Kiro's DI and put him more on the plane where he was able to get that rest. It's a really smart play there from Wangara. Yeah, and additionally, you know, he went off the top plat, I mean, or top, the top of the So no punish. Plat zone. Yeah, so no punish on the rest. Really um, big. Yeah. Wangara is such a smart player. Uh, Kiro, I mean, not even a bad showing from him, but just Wangara is so hard to hit, so hard to get those openings. Yeah, and, and, and Kiro is so good. So to see, to see, uh, to see him three stock Kiro mm -hmm. in this matchup, Jiggly Puff versus Pikachu is it, it goes to show the level of skill that this guy has. A absolutely. I mean, both these players. I, again, I. I thought that was not a bad game from Kiro. He had some really good combos. Uh, Wangara did SD one time, and he had the right DI to escape certain things, but Wangara's just a monster on this yeah. punish game. I mean, you could argue that Wangara, I mean, you could definitely make an argument for him for best player. Oh, of course, yeah. In the world in some in some aspects. Uh, I mean, I, mean I, I don't disagree. We, we've talked a lot. There was a lot of discussion after Wangara showed up for his first two Smash Cons about, like, how good is Puff? Puff's so good, good against Fox, good against Pika, good against Yoshi, good against Kirby, but like, the rebuttal to that is Wangara is just amazing, man. Like, yeah. I, it's hard to attribute that just to the character when Wangara's honestly just a monster. I think there's like, a Japanese tournament too that he won and he, he beat uh, Fukuro. And he's beat, oh, I think he could have rested there, but just went for the save option, just went for a Nair. Let's see see Wangara do that a lot. Oh, and he waits out, oh, come on. The, the Beautiful. awareness, he waits out that roll. He knows that he's going to try and escape with something, whether it's an up B, whether it's a roll. Yeah. Again. Again. Just yeah. waits for the tech, up tilt. And this is the guy also who kind of like people have been wow. saying, like, that's what you have to do. If Pika goes to up B escape after a down air and you're trying to up tilt, just wait and time the up tilt during the up the, B. The up B is so you catch it as they're leaving yes. and no longer vulnerable. And yeah. Wangara is the guy who showed people that that's possible. 
and and that's why people try to do it to this day. Good good catch there from Kiro, just getting that nice backer in, finishing out that sock. Kiro showing signs of life, but man, come on. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that could have been a grab, yeah. that could have been bad. He's oh, all wow. over what a great Kiro. Lead. Kiro is so good. Just to see someone just all over him like this with a with a jigglypuff is is wild. Oh, oh that great good roll, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and he gets just a little bit of juke there. Escapes that up air. Yeah, and he didn't care if he got hit. Went once he was toward the stage, and you'll notice. Oh, and Kiro's not gonna make it back, and that's. Wangara does a good job not to touch him at that point. You notice Wangara is exceptional at really... He doesn't spend a lot of time on platforms. He'll be on a platform, he'll threaten the platform, he'll leave the platform. Yeah. He's trying to land there, bait Hero into getting onto the platform, and then hitting him with a punish, getting him with that quick aerial. And you see he doesn't over-pursue. He kind of knows. He lands that strong nair. He's like, there's not much I can do from this. Oh, was that shield poke? Or he must have... I think he must have dropped it. It looked yeah. like he dropped it. Oh, barely missing there. Yeah, that nair was close. See, oh man, and Kiro, you see it again, that the ability to weave, and Kiro isn't able to do anything. He, he, oh, wow, that, oh. A little hit from the nair, he's able to jab and secure a grab. Oh, very oh. smart with that reverse. Oh. oh, did he go for an up air there? Oh, oh are you no. kidding me? That would have been Wangera, cool. I think he could have had that. I think he was just a tad slow. Didn't get like the perfect turnaround he wanted kind of thing. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. Man, I think he went for like a really late fast fall up air to try and get Kira onto the platform right before that. That would have been crazy. Yeah, or maybe he tried. Uh, yeah, I thought he was going to try and do what he did I, I saw this happen, and, and it didn't come out. So anyway, crazy stuff. Wangera is so, so technical. Those pivots right after he lands, just pivots back every time. Yeah. Good roll, jabs and runs in for the grab. But yeah, his reaction time is insane. Ooh, weak hit. This guy's on hey, another down air. Yeah, yeah nice. Nice. This guy is on another level. He's really, really good. Reese I mean, three up these he's Wonkara single-handedly coming to America and playing in our tournaments has caused, in my opinion, a resurgence of Jigglypuff players. And, and I'm inspired. I think everybody is. Every I mean, time. We see CTG coaching Kiro as uh, sort of being his... Uh, NA his, rep. Yeah, well, his, his Jigglypuff expert. He, he hired an expert to come in on the subject. And, uh, and, and this is interesting because I know CTG loves Wangara. So much respect Yeah, for that's him. why I'm... Yeah. All, all, all Puff players do is hard not to. But, you know, yeah. some, sometimes... Being, you know, you being out where your loyalty your region is. is is much more important than uh, character loyalty. So I don't know if it's more important, man. I don't know. I, you you you're saying you would rather. Uh, I mean, for I CTG, mean, Kiro's, Kiro's, Kiro's not really his region. It's sort of his region. Where where do you draw the line? Homeboy. When region, when it's when it's state, when it's country. NA versus Japan, you got to go with NA. But we're all in a region. We're, your we're all in a region. We're in the Super Smash Bros. Region, no, you know, no, we're no. a family. We're a family here. <laughs> but either way, yeah, I think I think it's it's uh, it's good to have a guy in your corner who's who knows the matchup or knows the character. Also, let's be real. At this moment, I don't think Juan Guerra needs much coaching. Absolutely not. He, he's put on an absolute show for us here in this matchup. Yeah, this is a it's a clinic, and I think it, this is just Juan Guerra showing. Uh, like honestly, he's on another level. Yes, Hero. Hero is one of the people who he's probably gonna make top eight. I hope we see him later on in the tournament. But it, like right now, he's looking like he's getting wrecked. This is tough. And it, good job not to try to rest too early there when yeah. you didn't have it. You didn't know about Wispy the platform. It's always tragic if you try and rest and they tech on the platform. Ooh, nice, nice. He just stood yeah. still and downbeat. Good Kiro. work there from Kiro. Yeah. That's a good combination. He had a couple up airs pushing one gear to the right, and then kind of pushed him off the platform, and then continued the combo to the left. And Kiro is one of those players, too, who his punish game, I think you said this in the beginning of the, of the set, his punish game is really strong. If he's able to actually win the neutral a bit more, he, he could go pretty chance. far. Uh, yeah, he, he was basically I don't know if Kiro knows. I don't know how familiar he is with Wangara. Wangara prioritizes going to the ledge. 
very often. It's a it, it's a noticeable trend that he has. So yeah. I don't know if Kiro knows that or if he's picked up on it or anything. I but. mean, he may be just doing that because that's the option that's there. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, right. if Kiro's covering that, he will recover above. And Kiro is able to finally get a lead here. Right, late, late in game three. Let's see for how long now. Mira putting on a lot of pressure in this corner here. Good F air. He's able to get back to center stage here. Wow, nice forward Nair with Wandera. Come on, Nair. Still just feeling each other out, poking yeah. in right now. Kiro like being Kiro's very patient. He yeah. doesn't want to blow his lead here. Exactly. He's concentrating bad. very hard to play. So far, Wangaro's won the last few like neutral interactions, but all he's gotten is an air. So Kiro's still fine with that. And that was really smart. Wangaro dropped through, and he predicted oh. Kiro going to the platform. Kiro really far away now. Yeah, the down smash. And now Nair is not sailed. Can we go for Nair? Yeah. Oh, great ledge DI from Kiro. And it will save him the stock. So you notice Wangara Wangara has done that a few times now, which is interesting against Pikachu. He goes for that down air, forces Pikachu to recover high, and then tries to read it with the Nair that is now slightly more unsailed. Right. <laughs> to try and finish off that kill. Wangara well, uses that back air to distort his hurt boxes, to make sure he stays out of range, and he lets Kiro push him off while he's in shield on that platform. Baits Kiro into that. He only gets a little bit of a down air before Kiro's able to DI away. And here we go. No back air. Wangara maybe DI's up and out of that combination. Wangara getting a little bit of percent here, but nothing yeah. much. But it's kind of yeah. tripping Kiro up. Yeah, and I think Look you're totally downer. Yep. You're totally okay to have Peek at low percentages, Jiggly. You don't really want Pika getting it too high of a percentage no, to be able to no, finish no. him off. You can't you don't have the same combo starters. Mid percent Pika, so at this percent for instance, like the only way to get a rest. Bill. Yeah, the only way to get a rest, mind you, Wanger is not that type of player. Up tilt in neutral. You can there get it is. Nice. And yes, Smart Wisely does not go for the rest. Yeah. You can get a rising up air when they're at like 50 and lead that to rest. But that can be really tricky to get. You have to have all your jumps. Right. All sorts of things. And the hitbox isn't too big. Yeah. And, and up air is a laggy move. It's hard. Margera with a lead now. Oh, that's a really nice. Almost good play like that, that boom style crouch cancel, crouch cancel grab, right? Kiro just takes the hit. Oh, and yeah. Gets the grab. Okay. Wangara goes. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Right. First bear. Who's going to die? Oh. <laughs> Wangara looks like he got up and daffed. <laughs> Ooh. He got really scared. <laughs>